guys this is tuber tutorials and i'm back with another tutorial video on photoshop in this video we're going to be creating this um selena gomez wallpaper that i did and this wallpaper is basically combining different images into one to form one image which you see there and i've included a zip folder in the description that contains all the things that i use so go ahead and download that folder unzip it and you get um, all the images that I use, you get the final image and the Photoshop file. So we're going to go ahead and go to Photoshop, go to File, New, 1280 by 720 pixels, hit OK. And we're going to unlock that layer. First thing we need to do is to go to that folder and we're going to drag that sky image into our document here. And we're going to unlock the layer and then select our Move tool and kind of move that image up to your document all right i'm going to size that up Control t for the free transformation tool hold down your shift key and we're going to drag this up so that the sun is not fully shown all right that's just about good and we're going to drag this side out remember to hold down your shift key while you do this all right so that's just about good check that off Alright, we're going to change the blend mode to multiply. We're going to reduce our opacity to about 90. And we're going to reduce the fill to about 98. Alright, that's good. So now what we need to do is add our second um, image, which is the crowd. So go ahead and go back to that folder and drag that concert 2 image into Photoshop. Alright, unlock the layer your move tool and move that image into the document all right release that image all right we're going to use control um actually we're going to just move the image down some more just move it down until you see those blue lights at the top these blue lights there all right just move it down until those are visible all right and then we're going to change the blend mode to hard light alright so that's looking good and there's nothing we need to do with that image everything is perfect the way it is now we need to go back to that folder I want to drag our Selena Gomez pic now there's two image there's one that's the original that's the, that's the, the one that says Selena and the Selena cut is the one that I already um, pre-edited so let's drag that one into Photoshop and all you need to do is to select your magnetic lasso tool and just uh, lasso this entire area out with your magnetic lasso tool. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and come back to um, the video. Alright, so now that we have the entire image um, lassoed out, we're going to go ahead and select our move tool and move that image into our document. And alright. As you can see, there's still some kind of gray spots from the background between the hand. So we're going to go ahead and go to our magic wand tool and just click those gray areas and hit delete. Um, you're not going to get them all removed, but just get the, the most visible ones removed, the most that you can. Let's remove some of that gray. Alright, so that's good. Okay, so now we're going to go to Control T on our keyboard and Control minus to zoom out. And we're going to hold down the Shift key and just resize this image a bit. Just drag it up. Just resize it and Control plus to zoom back in. Alright, and we need to position this image um, on top of the clouds, kind of. And we're going to resize this down some more. Right, and we're gonna kind of position it right at the clouds. All right, that's just about good. All right, check that off. So the next thing that we're gonna do is change the blend mode of that image to hard light. All right, now we're gonna go to our. Um, we're gonna add a layer mask first of all layer mask go to your 
your brush you're gonna have a soft soft end brush all right about 100 pixels and we're gonna make sure that this is that black and we're gonna just fade away the bottom half of the image just to make it look like it's fading away into the clouds behind it all right just gently kind of go down the bottom all right then we're gonna click back on that image and go to our smudge tool and we're gonna do the same thing just smudge it down just make it look more um, cleaner like it's behind the clouds all right so that's good so next what we need to do is to um, edit this image some more so we can go to image adjustments go to levels just gonna make it a little bit darker all right you can actually go to image adjustment brightness and contrast all right you can decrease the contrast some more all right you can decrease the brightness actually all right then we're going to add some curves so image adjustments curves we're going to make that s shape Then we're going to go down to go to channel, go to blue, make the opposite S shape. Alright, so that's just about good. Alright. Alright, so the next thing that we need to do now is to add a drop shadow to that image. So right click on the image, blend in options. We're going to go to drop shadow. We're going to leave the blend mode at multiply and we're just going to drop the opacity to about 37. About 37 is good. And hit OK. Alright, so next what we need to do is add a lens flare behind the image. So go ahead and make a new layer. Go to your paint bucket tool and just paint that area black. Then we're going to go to filter, render, lens flare. We're going to add the movie prime lens, leave the brightness at 100%, hit OK, change the blend mode to screen, alright, go to your move tool, just position the bright spot right behind the image, the Selena Gomez, alright, then we're going to drag that layer behind her layer, so that the, so that the lens flare go behind her, that's good, and we're going to add a layer mask to that lens flare layer, Go back to your brush tool, use that same soft end brush. I'm just going to fade out these streaks right here to make it look like it's fading out. All right, just to make it look like it's fading out into the clouds and into the crowd. All right, just erase that, some of the edges. Opacity there, or we can just bring it down a bit to 70. And we're going to add an 
outer glow leave the color to where it is and we're going to increase the opacity all right and leave leave the range at 50 all right but you can change it up if you want to hit okay now we're going to go to that layer mask go to a soft end brush at about 100 and we're going to erase the lines that go over on her body like these just erase them so the streak can look like it's streaking from behind just erase the ones at the front and kind of erase this one from the crowd as well just make it fade up right there that's good erase the one on top of her head change the size of the both of them so we're going to put the size to about about 48 is good just double click on the text and just decrease the size all right and we can position that some more all right so we're going to add some outer glow to this so just right click on the um, Selena text go to blending options and we're going to add a outer glow we're going to leave the color um, just the way it is we're going to decrease the opacity to about 47 uh, 47 is good 47 48 we're going to leave everything just the way it is and we're going to increase the range to 100% and we're going to hit OK and we're going to do the same thing to the Gomez text, but to make life easier, just right click on that Selena layer, go to copy layer style, click on the Gomez layer, right click and go to paste layer style, and it copies the same style from the Selena one onto the other one. Or you can just um, hold down your control key, click on both, right click, and just go to um, link layers, and that's just link the two layers as it's um, one layer. Alright, and we're going to change the opacity a bit, just decrease it down to about 90, just make the text look like it's fading away in the background, about 90 is good. Alright, next we're going to add the spotlight text, so once again go to your text layer, use the same font, Caviar Dreams, and just type spotlight. Alright, and we're going to just position that at the bottom here. We're gonna make it a little bit larger, so double click on that layer. Let's try about uh, 72 is good. Drag that up to center right there. All right, so now what we're gonna do is add some effects to that text as well. So right click on it, go to blending options. We're gonna add a drop shadow. Now we're gonna leave the opacity at 75. Leave everything just the way it is. Add an outer glow. We're going to change that color to uh, brightish yellow. Alright. And we're going to just increase the size to about 57. About 57, 58. Alright. And we're going to leave the range and the jitter just as the way it is. Hit OK. And that's basically your, um, your wallpaper, your Selena Gomez wallpaper. Um, it's very simple, it's very easy, and try it out and let me know how it worked out for you guys. And um, thanks for watching. Once again, this is our final um, project. So try it out and let me know how it works out for you guys. Like the video, subscribe to my channel, and add your comments below. It helps me out a lot, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a nice day.